Hi everyone, it's Eva here. Welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got something really, really exciting for you guys. I know it's been like a week since the new base game update, but I've had a whirlwind of emotions the past couple days. So yeah, this video is coming today. And then my snowy escape build, for which I posted a little teaser in the community tab, will come out on Wednesday. So until then, you'll have to be a bit patient. Like I said, I had a couple of stressful days. I had a bit of an issue with getting snowy escape so I was like trying to get it on Friday and then obviously something went wrong and I was like impatient and I was like oh, I need to build I need to build I need to build and I couldn't and then I finally got the pack on Saturday and of course I started building immediately and let me tell you it's great but I will get into the pack more in detail in the video where I'm actually building in the snowy escape world so let's focus on this build for now so last Tuesday I believe we got a new base game update with platforms finally so there's a couple of updates for gameplay as well like the sentiments um, I've not played the game yet I've only built I know that's really bad and I really really want to play but every time I'm like actually on the sims I'm like I should be building I should be building I should be building and then I just I'd never play but I really want to play especially with the new pack I will definitely take some hours to just enjoy the gameplay and not feel pressured to build <laughs> anyway so we got a really really cool building tool that many many people have been waiting for and that is platforms so basically what platforms are is that you can do split level buildings so before we couldn't connect two rooms of different heights and now with the platform tool we can finally finally do that and that is obviously perfect because I've been wanting to build a split level home for so long and I finally, finally was able to do it. So I decided to build this modern split level home. Basically, I went full on overboard with platforms and I think there's not a single room that doesn't involve platforms, but I really wanted to make the most of it and I love them. There's certain things that don't work and I think they should work. But um, yeah, they are a great addition to the game and I think it's so cool that you can finally add like a bit of depth to the rooms before everything was just on one level and it was very like simple in a way. Like it's <laughs> so many houses and flats go like up and down inside them without having a completely new floor. So this is perfect and I really, really, really like the look of them. So basically how the platforms work, you can either use them for stairs. So if they're like one height, thingy apart they can be used as stairs and sims can literally just walk on them which is what i did for the outside for the entrance of this home because i really wanted this modern chic look and it looks so cool because i didn't want them to be symmetrical so they look like mm. and you can also use them for example as decorations which is great or you could fully just create a new split level platform and then build a room up there. Oh, and the cool thing is you can actually build lower into the ground as well. So it's not just up, you can actually place things down as well. So I think on the outside terrace, I used a lowering of the platform for the only time in this build. All the others are up and I use them genuinely everywhere. So the dining area is elevated and then we have some steps up to the next floor and there is well, the main living area and I elevated the office space up a bit and it looks so so cool I'm really really happy with how this turned out and it would be so boring if it was just like desk living room so now it's like an elevated space like literally <laughs> and I absolutely love the, the look of it and then there are some platform steps up to the bedroom the main master bedroom because this house has two bedrooms so one is like an open loft like bedroom because you guys know I love lofts <laughs> and then the other one is a kids bedroom that I also use the platform tool in but basically we have like a couple of stairs leading up to the bedroom and then another two to the bed which I think looks so cool and the good thing is because I think the upper Per floor I used the highest wall height I'm pretty sure and that way you can kind of like scale down the rooms I feel like sometimes in living spaces it's too tall so by adding like a couple of platforms you can kind of decrease the wall height without losing it on the outside which is great and then probably my favorite use of the platform in this build is in the shower because I love open walk-in showers I wish I wish we had those in the game. They are so pretty and they're so elegant and modern. And I was finally able to actually lower it into the ground and make it like a walk-in shower. And by the way, guys, I am using Twisted Mexi's tool mod again, quite often to basically just flip things, create some custom furniture. For example, the walls of the shower are like the glass floor from Island Living that I just rotated 90 degrees and then 
size down and then made like this divider for the for the for the shower which i think looks really realistic and i also for example flipped the pillows on the sofa so they look like they're actually leaning against the sofa and a couple bits and bobs that i just wanted to make a bit more interesting and the best thing is and i will repeat this in every single video you do not require the tool mod to be installed in your game to download my build so basically when you download this build everything will be the same as I built it and you don't need to have it installed, which is amazing. And also I wanna give credit to some of the pictures and paintings that I used because they're not from any of the packs, but they are basically created by other simmers and then uploaded to the gallery. So you can basically download whatever you want on the gallery. Just type in like, I don't know, custom paintings or modern paintings. There's so much choice literally, and it's kind of nice to have some variation with the decoration items. I said this a couple times in all videos i despise the paintings in sims 4 i hate them i think there should be way more variation there should be way more like styles different frames I, oh, I wish we could like choose the the frames and whatnot that'd be so cool if you're interested in which ones i use this time i will put their names into the description so you can find them in the description and then back to the platforms i did use platforms again in the kids room for elevating the bed a bit so we have the desk in the front and then a couple stairs leading up to the bed and it's like the desk and play area are a bit kind of closed off of the sleeping area and if you're enjoying this video then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here like i promised my new snowy escape build will be coming out on wednesday so keep an eye out for that and unfortunately the speed build is coming to an end soon so i'll say my bye byes so i hope you enjoyed the video so far and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye!